What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode. And today I'm gonna try to do something kind of different than what I do normally. I do like to show you guys how to do stuff, but I'm wanting to do a series focused for either kids just starting out fishing or parents that have never fished before and their kids want to start fishing and they have no idea what to do or just anybody that want, that's interested. But today I'm gonna to be showing you three really simple knots to get started on your fishing journey. The first knot I'm gonna be showing you guys will be the fisherman's knot. I use it for almost everything. I'll be the first knot, the fisherman's knot or the improved clinch knot. The second knot I'm gonna be showing you guys is the polymer knot. And I use that for any topwater stuff, but you can use it for anything that you're using the fisherman's knot, whatever is easiest for you guys. And I'm gonna be showing this all in a POV, point of view, so that you can see how your hands, you're looking down at it. So I'm gonna get everything turned around for you guys. And you're gonna to have to stick around for the third knot, so it's a leader knot. And it's the simplest knot that I've found that I can do easy. You're on the boat, you're on the shore. You can do this knot. Anybody can do it once you see how to do it. We're gonna be starting off using shoestring so that you guys can see it better. This is what we're gonna be using is black shoestring until I show you how to tie the leader knot. So let me get you guys turned around and we'll start with this knot. I may or may not show you guys how to do it with just regular line two but I wanna make sure you guys can see this first. So we're starting off with a fisherman's knot. Pull it through, give yourself plenty of line to work with here. And I like to spin it five times. One, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna take this end here and you're gonna go back through the loop at the very beginning. Hopefully you guys can see that, just like that. You'll see it. And then you'll be left with this big loop here and you'll bring it back through that big loop like that. And then you're just gonna pull it snug like this. And when you do it, you can wet it a little bit so it snugs up tight. And there you have it right there. There is the fisherman's knot. Very strong, good knot. And you just clip that tag end off. Probably want to go get it undone. I'll have to cut it. Make sure you guys have a pair of cutters with you. All right, the stuff I'm using is a little bit unorthodox, but I'm just trying to get it so you guys can see how to do this. I'm going to show you guys how to do the polymer knot. You can start off by folding your line like this and shoving it through your eye loop like that. Or if your eye loop isn't very big, you can put it through one at a time and then run it back through like that. So then you'll have your two lines like this. And you wanna make sure you got enough string. Well, if you're doing a frog, you have to go all the way over the frog, but if you're doing quick clips, it's a lot easier. So just go around like this, back through, then you're gonna to wanna to take this part of the knot and you're going to want to put it all the way around whatever lure or quick clip you're doing make sure you got that end and you're just going to cinch it up this hopefully it cinches up nice it's kind of not sliding the greatest with this shoestring but you gotta pretend like you're an eyelet buddy and then you just slide it tight like that hopefully it'll focus for you guys you can see it and there you have your polymer knot. Probably do this all with regular fishing line too. So if you want to skip around, you can definitely skip around. And I just got my pair of braid cutters right there. All right, now this is going to be the leader knot for braid to floral. So this, we're going to use white. Oh, this is going to stand out pretty good. But this will be our leader line and this will be our main line. So you're going to lay your line over. You're going to make a loop and you're gonna have that over the top like that. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you got enough line tag end, give yourself enough tag end to wrap around. And then you're gonna take your main line and you're gonna go through the bottom. And make sure you pull enough through. So that's like laying like that. 
I'm going to pinch that there. We're going to wrap five times. You can do seven, but hopefully I can even get this to work with this line. So you got one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then after you get the five, you're going to take it back. Jesus, I mean. Now that you got the five, this is going to be a lot easier with the regular fishing line, I promise you. And you're going to come back and you're going to wrap it back around and you're going to kind of go right in the same, I don't know what that would be called, the grooves of the other one through, see where you went through, and then you're going to come back through. the same area that you went through and it's going to kind of look like that. And you're going to pull and hopefully if it'll t pull, it'll snug up for you. It's kind of, kind of tough because it's shoestring, but then you pull it up and right there is your Alberta knot. You're going to want to, moisten this too and you're going to clip it here and you're going to clip it here but there's your there's your leader to braid or your leader knot all right let me see uh, if i can get this to look good for you guys i like to use suffix 832 if anybody else likes to use that let me know you guys can't even really see this how does it look with the mono here you can kind of see the mono a little bit better all right so you take your mono, fold it just like I did, take your main line, you shove it through, pull it all the way, and then you wrap it around one, two, three, four, five. All right, then I like to pinch that end and we'll run it back the other way. One, And then where it comes through the bottom, you're just going to take this and you're going to run it right back through the top. And you want to make sure you get a hold of your line on that side, line on that side. Alberta knot. Try to do the fisherman's knot for you one more time with this. So you go through here, through whatever you're doing, you spin it. And there'll be a little, you can kind of see it right there, there'll be a knot at the, or a loop right at the bottom, and you shove it through that loop. 
and then that gives you even bigger loop right here and you go back through that bigger knot grab it so now you're back through that and then you just pull it and snug it up just like that there's your improved clinch knot then you just nip off the tag line and one last one for the people i don't know how well this is showing up for you guys i hope it's showing up good I got all the lights on that i can get on i like to take this and go through your eyelet because sometimes it's a smaller eyelet and then you come back through it's just easier to run that piece through and you got it like that and you do a not like that kind of hard with the camera in the way I'm just trying to show you guys the POV view because I hate it when I'm trying to do what they're doing but so you go through like that and then you'll have this extra make sure you get yourself a big enough loop here to get whatever lure it is that you need and then you take your lure all the way through like that and then you just grab your tag end and you pull it and there's your polymer knot Thanks everyone for watching. I'm hoping this all turns out for you guys. If you want more or have any questions on how to do something, please comment below and hit that subscribe button.